today I'm going to be doing a video on freshman year advice. I feel like I can definitely give some advice for this because I'm going to be a senior in high school this year, which is which is super weird. Like I don't even know. Like I just feel like high school flew by because I remember freshman year I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like high school's gonna be so slow. We literally start school on Monday from when I'm filming this and I just can't believe I'm gonna be a senior. Anyways, if you're new to my channel from finding this video, hi, I'm Kaylee and I would love if you subscribed. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first piece of advice I have for you guys is freshman year, your grades, I'm not saying like don't try hard. If you get one bad grade, like say you didn't do well in a test or something, it is not the end of the world because you have so many different tests like to make up from that and you can't just like automatically think oh I failed this test like I'm gonna fail the rest of high school just because of this like I promise you it's not the end of the world so the second piece of advice sorry if I keep looking at my phone because I wrote down like all the advice that I had one thing that I personally learned is don't compare yourself to others because, yeah, there's popular people and don't change how you act or how you dress or just the way you are just because you, like, want to fit in, you know, like, be popular, but really that doesn't really matter, like, as long as you have, like, a few close friends. Personally, I think you'll be good. Like, I always used to think, like, oh, like, if I wear this, like, maybe, like, they'll judge me or something, but... Literally, wear whatever you want. I mean, as long as you, like, don't get dress coded. But <laughs> so the next thing is, don't be afraid to ask upperclassmen for help. If anyone from my school is watching this, um, feel free to ask me for any help. I don't know if you want to or if you've been watching this, but there's stereotypes. Like, yeah, upperclassmen, like, hate the freshmen. Like, I mean, sometimes, like, we obviously, like, do say that. Like, I'm pretty sure all upperclassmen say that. But really, if you ask any of them for help... I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you because personally I love helping them because if it's like your first day of high school, you don't know where to go, then obviously we're going to help you because, you know, we were at that part of our life's freshman year where we couldn't find something. So yeah, just don't be afraid to ask any upperclassmen for help. And also you can probably make some upperclassmen friends along the way. So my next thing is participate. Like I know as a freshman, you probably... Like, I don't know how it is at other schools. For me personally, going into senior year, I really wish I participated more because I never really went to, like, football games or, like, I never really... Or, like, I did, but not as much. And I didn't really join any clubs till my junior year last year. And I really regret, like, not going to a lot of school events. So, like, basketball games, football games, you know, like, any of that. And now going into senior year, like I just said, I really regret not doing that. So, my next point of advice is don't slack off and obviously everyone procrastinates from time to time but like there's a certain point where you can do that and there's a lot of people that like sometimes I don't really care about homework but I know for at least my high school I don't know how it is in other states um I know like homework can really help your grade like you may be like a really good tester but you never do your homework but that could still like really affect your grade the next thing this kind of goes with what I said earlier about don't worry about being popular because honestly like to tell you the truth like I mean I'm not like trying to be mean but in reality not everyone is gonna like you like for me personally I've definitely been bullied you can't really let someone else's opinion kind of like control your life because it's not their life to live so you just gotta do what makes you happy the next thing is to make a music playlist I don't know about you guys but in school, I listen to music all the time. I don't know what it is, but music just helps me a lot. Like, if teachers say, okay, you can work on your homework for the rest of class, and they let you listen to music, I would definitely take advantage of that because if you just make, like, a really good playlist that makes you calm or music that you like, it can help you, like, stay focused. At least it does for me, and I would hope it does for a lot of other people as well. If you guys need any playlists to listen to, like, calming music, or just like another playlist if you guys want to see what I listen to or like the playlist I'm going to listen to for this year. I will link those down below. Next, don't be afraid to ask questions to teachers. I know I've definitely had this where like 
you don't want to ask the question because you're going to feel dumb or the teacher is going to like think you're stupid or something. Like I always think that every time. But you never know, there could be someone that is wanting to ask the same question. Kind of something that connects with that. I would definitely recommend, like if you don't understand something or you want to study for a test with a teacher, maybe ask them if they're available after school. I definitely did that in math class because like I said, that is not my strong suit at all. And it really did help saying after school. And I know like sometimes it can make people feel kind of like self-conscious because you're going in after school because maybe you don't understand something and you feel like people will judge you. But in reality, it's your grade, not someone else's. So, yeah. And my advice, I would definitely recommend asking a teacher for help if you don't understand something. Last but not least, do not, do not, do not cram for your exams. I know, like, exams don't really matter when colleges are kind of looking. But, like, they still look at it, but just it just doesn't have as big as an effect as like SAT would or if you take the ACT whatever one you take at your school but yeah I would still definitely really try and don't study the day before because I made that mistake quite a bit and it definitely kind of takes a toll on your exam grade and like I said even though they don't matter as heavily as like the SAT would you still really want to try because you know obviously teachers want to see you doing your best effort Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my freshman year advice video and if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already but yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye I want a baby do I even bother do you ever think about me but you Balenciaga and Prada that pulls your car